13 guaranteed lowest distribution of seeded money. I've highlighted that full. We have two loads in um, the county, Kadget and Seeded. These are guaranteed <coughs> funds, and you got these copies back in August or September, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Whitley County is guaranteed of the $1.2 million to get 806 174 Okay? Mm -hmm. Seeded money. Right. So you need to add the 806 and the 757 that's left in the account. And I did that, and it yep. comes to one million five hundred sixty-three thousand five thirty-six seventy-seven. I took that time seventy-five percent, which is what you're supposed to use for your appropriation or forecasted budget for the thing. It's one point one seven two six five two. Thank you. So that's and our that's target. how much money you guys can. Use over for these two years. projects over two years, right? Yep. It, it's project. not used over two years, it's used for 2013, and then you're forecasting that you're still going to get the 806 for 2014 when whatever's left over from the year. You don't divide the 1.1 into two years, you're right, because, because next year we're going to get at least 806. another 806, right. So you need so, to. So, so would it be appropriate to take 75% of 806 and add it on to this $1.1 million and say that's what our two year target is? Or are you going to add both lines together? I think you should keep 2013 separate from 2014. And we have to. I Correct. agree. So let's not even worry about 2014 project. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Even though we might have them on here. And you know that, like EDC, you're going to pay every year. Yeah. And you can forecast that, but you don't I need do. to even I, worry about yeah. the dollars amount for that. All you really need to worry about is 75% so, so of that amount. So today, we are going to deal with 2013. And 2014 is sort of looped in. It's just that, it's just that when we get done, the plan says we have to do 75% of the two year. It's a two year plan. So we, we have to do 75% of the money you know you have on hand for 2013. You're just forecasting. Okay, I thought it was 75% of a two year plan. So it's per year because <clears throat> next at the end of 13, we might not carry a balance of 757. Correct. In there. I'm, might that's only, good. I'm, I'm fine with that. That's might good. Might only have three hundred thousand, <coughs> so then we'd add three hundred thousand on the eight oh six. If that, so we'd be around a million, million bucks to spend. Mm -hmm. The uh, okay. one point. Okay, everybody on the same page. All we so need today to do is, we're working on thirteen. That's it. Got it. And you can use the same numbers if you want to give the, each department the same number each year. But if you know it's like one time thing, like the radios. And don't put anything in 14 over there. And, and I think yeah, I may have he is, he is done those. Yeah, things. and like the showers. Okay, so, um, well, the shower security system had, had been pulled out. Well, that's okay. That's I just was but using that for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we did that this year. We had put 40000 in for the radios for the highway, and then that was that Mute was it. this year. Uh, or Mr. Chairman, can yeah, I ask yeah. you a question before we start? Oh, have, absolutely. Have you run the totals here for 13? Yeah. Uh, Are we? Uh, but that that and would the be reason good. I ask if we're if we're over this 75 percent, which we could go for, but we don't. It's a, it's the last page, Tom. Oh, okay. Um, I, I just, just saying if there's just places Pam. we need to cut. Oh. As we go through. Well, we're under already. I know. What, the, the, from what she's showing me, Tom, we're already under. So. Okay. Total requested 994. Okay, so we're so, under. So, so let, me, let me tell you how I got that. I, I just had her add up 2013 only. Yeah, okay. That's um, at this time, because I wanted to get this out to you right away, I'm not going to tell you that 2014 is correct. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to deal with that today. I may have made an adjustment in there somewhere that I didn't ask her to add 2014 back up. But I can tell you that 2013 should be exactly what's on 
this okay. paper. <coughs> or Pam's a bad adder. <laughs> her machine. So we'll okay. blame her, is that okay? Yeah. okay. okay. Don, Chairman, do you, do you want these? These are what we appropriated last year and what has been spent year to date. I, I do think that's kind of important, and I'll tell you why. Yes, because so because I've already been told that that on a, on the project for the website we put in eight thousand, and they only are going to need six. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So so I know we're going to make a ch I know we're going to make a change or two as we get down through and here. And <coughs> here's just more detail to what you have in your hand. But these Good. are the actual disbursements that in the vendor it went to per project. So if you look at the sheet that George is using and you see the 42010. You say, how did you get that? Right. You, you can see the two expenses okay. and the day that they went out. So there's that. Are you comfortable? Because we had some, uh, some, we had to make some changes from funds. We had them in the wrong funds and things like that. Are you comfortable? Those have all been cleaned up yes, now? Yes. I made sure of that between the this meeting one. on Monday and okay. today. Expenditures. On this one here, the expenditures are explained on should equal oh, that. Okay. Um, the two that we did leave in miscellaneous, miscell miscell I guess there was a couple more than two. Well, we changed, we moved them back out though. For the tire or replacement at Mueller's, I don't understand highway. Miller excavating. I think that was that little project they had out there where the water was oh, on the okay, road. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We didn't really have any. No, we I know we forgot about that. How did that end up in Cedar? Not that I care, but how did that end up in Cedar? Some meeting Council? has allowed that. Well, I mean, I'm, yeah, and what was that for? <sighs> Somebody came to it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Amy Leibarger came to us. The down 500 North, is that the one? No. And there was a project, and apparently we decided to take it out of seat it. I, I don't honestly well, remember. It took, what, what, 180,000? No, 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 it's like two, three, four thousand. Thirty-two. 3,200. 3,200. I don't know what the, well, I don't know what you're, what, oh. I'm looking at I the miscellaneous. I thought you were talking about <coughs> miscellaneous expense. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Okay, so. And, that and I got to ask you once again, you have all the numbers you're giving us, uh, the 93 or 4,000 have been deducted. So we're looking at actual numbers. Yep. Okay, good. Good. Glad we don't have to deal with that. Mr. Any other questions before we start? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Chairman, miscellaneous expenses, we went in and out here, and I'm not sure why. But um, we moved it up to the um, 25,000 under the... Um, Building. Or offsite. Offsite. Off thing yeah. for some medical thing, Soltis or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, just just FYI, you're gonna notice that seventy-five thousand dollars from onsite offsite, given the BRCs, never been spent, and it hasn't. So. Well, you, yeah, you've allocated that, but they've never asked for it yet. So. No, no, and and Alan is. I ask Alan, and Alan's not really sure where that project is. So, uh, but my thoughts were the problem I had with that at, in retrospect, though, not at the time. I wish I'd have had this thought at the time. Was the town of Cherubusco really needed to have kicked into that? That's in their seated district. Well, and and I just didn't think about it, or we would have said. Look at their distribution of seed up money too. What are they doing with it? And how much do they have on hand? Um, yeah. they I, I can, I, I can only, I can tell you because I'm on the Main Street project. But I can tell you a lot of that money is going to the Main Street project. Okay. So, so. Well, it's a good project. Yeah, it's a good project. So, I know that. But still, they had plenty of money, and we just should have. We just should have asked them for for some money Absolutely. for that. And, yeah. And it's not too late. No, it hasn't been spent really. So, um, but but I don't, I don't know how you deal. You know, if it comes 2013, does it come out of the 250 thousand on-site off-site? Yeah. When it comes, if, if, if it does carry a balance. Or yeah, because that's a you got a balance of 200 thousand right now, and it, and that's a 
it was allocated 250. I think all we spent is 50 out of that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is a report. That's a number that probably is here somewhere. But I'd like to know how much did we not spend that we said we were going to. It's on would, that. Would that be the 150, 3508? Um, unused appropriate, unexpended appropriations. Okay. It is the amount of, if you look at the sheet that says location budget. Got it. 198. 165 is the difference between the appropriations and the expenditures. $200,000. Yeah. Okay. And I have never. 12 years knowing that we have spent really 100% of it. it okay, good. So it's back with the model because you put, you pad it, you put it down. Okay, good, good, good. That, that, I'm, more, I'm much more comfortable that way than somebody screaming because we didn't spend the money. So. And if it gets to that, if we have, like you got 2,000 and something already, unless you cut it back. Well, well look, how, look how many projects popped up this year that if you, that, that if you had the money, you know, spend it on that so it's okay I'm, well this I'm, is uh, the, the first year and I I have given when I went over this I wrote some questions down but this is the first year that I can remember where we have spent on the seat of so much money to redo buildings you know boilers maintenance, maintenance yep uh, buying it's in here now first time buying it truck each year for the highway. We give them money for roads, but this year. So we have really out of seat it, had a lot of money that's going to those things for first time. Community corrections another for a roof and things like they're additional buildings and I know that uh, our buildings are getting older, our heating system, same way with the Anna. And so it it's something in there and Another question I had on there, are there any new guidelines for C? It seems to me sooner or later someone's going to say, hey, these counties are using CEDAP money for things we didn't intend. That should really be out of I, I, I just had this conversation with Patty the other night. I said, you know, Patty, I don't, I can't believe that the state has that. First of all, I don't know if the state's ever come back and said, I'm going to see your CEDAP plan, what you spent, what you didn't spend. Yeah. And I said, and when are they going to come along and say, you can't spend it for that? Now, I, I had that same conversation because I think it's a, it's a valid question. The, the thing that I see is we've been pro protecting the cube cap through the seat of Yes, we have. Yes, we have. And rainy day, we've yeah. been trying to. Yeah. And, and I will give, I mean, I, I'm, it's not a done deal, and, and I'm hoping it is, but council has said, they want to look at Cume Cap reestablishing next year and Cume Bridge, and they really need to do that because look at that Cume Cap. We, I mean, Cume Cap needs reinforced. We haven't changed the rate for 24 years. In 24 one years. Of those wow. Cume Bridge and Cume Cap. We have not increased it, and I'm not saying that the tax rate to the um, taxpayers will increase because if you look at it. They're taking away their, if you look at what goes in the county, reassessment funds in there. Well, they're doing away with that because we're going to solidical funding. Cyclical. Solidical Cyclical. funding. On a cycle. Yeah. Cycle. Right, right. So that tax rate's going to yeah. be um, taken out. And then the other one in 2016 or whatever for the this building, for the lease on this, yeah. we'll have that paid off. That's a, that's a tax rate for the county. Or another way to look at it is, uh, had they not changed the tax rate? Here, here's what happened to CUME funds. Uh, they, they never, the state decided a few years ago to lock them. So it didn't make any difference. If you were get, taking in $100,000 a year, I'll put it down to the township level because this is where I found it. I, we established a, a CUME fire fund, and it was it was 
bringing in $21,000 a year. And the next year it should have jumped because the assessed value jumped. And that year the state said, nope, we're freezing them. That's it. So, so no matter what the AV does, the year froze at 21000 So I guess my point is, if the AV is climbing, 10 cents on a taller AV buys you a lot more than it used to. So, so you don't have to change the tax rate because AV will take care of that on its own. And that's, and that's what they will do. I wouldn't, I'm like her, I wouldn't suspect any uh, change in, in tax rate that people pay for taxes uh, uh, to reestablish CUME Bridge and CUME Capital, um, but it will free it up and, and uh, take that cap off when, of it. When, when we, we first established the fire CUME fund in Smith Township, it was 14 cents and it brought in $21,000. Last year, Patty reestablished, by law she could do that, that's what we're going to do. She reestablished Q Fire at 0 .0303, and it's going to bring in $57,000. So we'll get more money with less tax rate, and that's what the council has to do. Just because our AVs and Lilia done great and we, we've, we've been very up. fortunate that we're, we're growing here so so but I think that's what's happened so we've used some seeded money for things that we've been too short to cube cap yeah. but we still haven't spent our second so what should we be spending it on then I you know one thing that you know at redevelopment the other day we had a situation where um, Jerry Bush is coming back like some funds for help for training. Yep. Because he's adding, I don't know, 50, 40, 50. 106. <coughs> 106 employees. 106 employees. 50 per shift. Right. Or somewhere in whatever 100 and whatever. And so he's down. coming to BDC asking for, or redevelopment, asking for funds for training. And, and I'm not so sure, shouldn't that be out of our CEDIC plan somehow? That, that we have. Is, That's just a question that I've got. Is he in the TIF district? Yes. Can TIF money be used for that? Well, and that's what he's yeah. he's asking that's for their redevelopment. Um, that is, that's what yeah. generally we call redevelopment. And that can only be used in the TIF district. Right. It can't be used out of the TIF district. <coughs> because to answer your question, you, you know, it is economic development income tax, and, and that would appear to be a, an appropriate use for it. So if you want to make it a project, we, we have open projects in here. If you want to make it a project, like well, I just, I, I'd like to present that to the other commissioners and <coughs> see what your well, thoughts are. Ask. They, um, they get from the state, the, the, the state has a, a fund also that they get, and I... That's the accept. So, yeah, SEP funds. And uh, it was, I think they got like 80000 within the last five years, isn't it? But what, what they were asking for is either um, matching those funds or, you know, half, paying for half of what the state gives. Um, you know, just something to help. But what what uh, Jerry is doing right now is he's got... He's got his supervisors training people because there are no trained people out there. On CNC. Yeah, for the CNC. So what's happening is we're paying for the supervisor's time because there is no training. There are, there are no trained employees out there. And, and to me, you know, there's two ways to look at that, I guess. One is we could help with with that funding, or we could try to come up with some kind of a, a I don't know, some kind of a training for. Um, could you actually run it off of the on-site, off-site improvement for economic development project on as an as-needed basis, economic development project for training, and we only spent 50 to 250 we had appropriated yeah. for it. And I think
think that's where Ellen was thinking about taking that. That, that would that would seem appropriate. I, I just want to make sure, and, and, and I'm sure not being argumentative. I'm just I just want to make sure that that's not something that 